Wagga Wagga is a bit of an agricultural hub. It's a really great place to undertake research and also to engage with the local regional community. Agriculture is definitely the cornerstone of the community. Our trip to Wagga was a great opportunity to interact with other PhD students who are based at the Wagga Agriculture Institute. It was also good to see all the DPI employees, breeders and everyone who works on, on similar projects to mine. We are at the Wagga Wagga Agriculture Research Facility and I'm here to, to check the black leg severity. Black leg is a fungal disease in canola. So here is a microbe, Brassica carinata, where uh, I'm focusing on my research, on my PhD project. So one day, this tiny little seeds will be used as a feedstock for producing a sustainable aviation fuel. Working on this project, like this is one of the one of the biggest projects in Australia as well as in Canada because the black leg issue is, is a hotspot issue in Europe, Australia and Canada. This was my first exposure to the field experiments and I really enjoyed it. The challenges that we face in agriculture are extremely complex and they're going to take a variety of different approaches, different ideas. In the era of global food insecurity, there is a dire need to come up with some integrated approaches. I'm very excited to be part of researchers who are working tirelessly to address some of the food insecurity problems that we are encountering globally. Using advanced genetics tools like CRISPR-Cas9 uh, gene editing, we are trying to create the next generation of products that can really address those real-world challenges. So what I'm doing in my PhD project, I'm working on a drought-resilient wheat and barley. And I am doing that by introducing a very latest uh, biotechnology. It is called CRISPR. So these tools are very, very important to boost the agriculture production, particularly in the face of the climate change, when the temperature are really becoming very, very high, and also the drought is becoming very, very common. You know, getting your boots on the ground in the regions and understanding a little bit more about the context in which you're conducting your research, you know, with who and for who is is critically important. For them to go out on the field and to see what drought stress looks like, to see what the conditions are like, to see how the crops grow, helps them to better understand what we need to do to generate future crops. I got to meet Ned, one of the farmers, and we went on a harvester. And it was amazing to see what the end result of my project could look like. I think it's very important for my project not to be just in the lab, but to talk to other people. To learn all the different new technologies, to know, actually to know canola and to get involved into more communities. I think it's a really good experience. Most of my project activities, they are like uh, spread across these institutes. So sometimes I work in ANU in the lab and sometimes I have to come out to Wagga to do this. Ultimately, it's the growers that are taking up the final outputs from the research that we're doing. And so they really need to have the opportunity to get to know us, to understand the research, to ask questions. We can't just say, you know, I made a thing and take that out there and expect that everyone is happy to adopt it, participate in it, eat it. Working with the growers and breeders and and trying to identify what the problem that they are facing it and then delivering impactful research. What motivates me the most is that I am doing something that, that has a real world impact. The students and the postdocs and the innovation fellow, their contribution is very important to agriculture industry. They become the future leaders. When I saw my results, uh, I couldn't first believe. So all the hurdles, all the challenges that I faced was going through my mind and then I realized, yes, I got my results. So I, I love what I'm doing because now that I have seen what a large impact the drought stress can have, I know I can change that with my plans. While we all know that we need better crops, 
understanding the human piece of that and the challenges that local communities face is, is really crucial and a really important part of why we do what we do.